Exotic Gaming here, back with another mods video for Seven Days to Die in Alpha 20. These will once again be more quality of life focused, and I'll put chapters down below. If you find them useful, leave a like on the video, and let's begin. First up is a mod called Quick Stack by Wes Wood. This mod allows you to quickly put away all the stuff you gathered while exploring when you get home to base, as long as the chests are nearby. If you already have stuff in the chest as well, it'll automatically stack into it very quickly. And then you just click this button like so, and everything gets put away. And you click it one more time and it'll create new stacks for those items, like so. It's very, very handy for large loot runs, especially on multi-day journeys. And then we have another No Wires Electricity mod by OCB Maurice. This mod's a little bit simpler than the last one I showcased in the fact that you don't have to hook it up to a power box. It just gets rid of the wires completely as long as you're not holding the wire tool, like so. Turn it on, and they're gone. Completely. Very, very simple. This mod's pretty nice for showcasing bases or doing house flips. Okay, now we have Lucky Looter A10 by Berserk. This mod really makes the loot make more sense and more worthwhile when exploring more generic buildings, like this house for example. It increases the loot in cupboards, like food and stuff like that, without making it game breaking. Like, look at all this food. But then you're still gonna find, like, nothing in some other cabinets. So it's not game breaking in that sense. It just makes the loot more bulky in certain situations. Especially when it comes to, like, pillboxes and medicine rooms like this. Like, look at all that. It makes ambulances actually worth exploring by themselves. Ooh, the Furious Auto Turrets is a fun little mod that adds three new turrets to the game that are the AK-47, the Dart, and the Sniper Rifle Turret. Now the downside to these is they all actually look the exact same, but they do different things. The AK-47 takes Hollow Point, 7.62, and then the Dart takes Dart. And then the sniper takes armor piercing 7.62. The sniper also has a little bit longer range. So testing these out first, we have the AK with an insane amount of damage output. And then the sniper, which has the longest range, but the slowest amount of reload time. One. Oh, okay. I thought it was, well, maybe they were out of range or something. Okay. You can shoot. It's definitely not meant for large hordes. Moving on, we have the dart gun, which is kind of like a Gatling gun. It's crazy. Definitely the best for big swarms. Turn them all on. Oh, hello. The combined window mod is very, very simple. It just lets you combine a lot of lower tier items to upgrade them. This is very handy for early game when you have a lot of like lower level items. You can just combine them like so, and it reduces inventory and gives you a better item, especially for like wood tools in early game. It's very nice. Definitely a throwback to earlier versions of the game. Quick intro quest by Aurora Giggle Fairy is also a very simple mod and what it does is it lets you skip the introductory quest pretty much where you, you just place the bedroll down that you spawn with and it does all the beginning quests for you besides the trader and gives you all the stuff you would have gotten as well. This is nice if you're starting your series a lot or you just have to have a much more efficient early game without wasting a lot of time. The Bushcraft Bites mod by Ramos, however you say that, is probably one of my favorite mods on this whole list for just its utility purpose. It adds a lot of like more early game food recipes that you wouldn't normally be able to make in the game that makes sense. Like Bushcraft, Acorn Coffee, it cures infection. You can create bandages out of blueberries, put a spring in our step. You can create a bone broth, which warms you up in the winter. And then bushcraft hide and seek, eggs or eyeballs, like boiled egg, chicken, all stuff you find early game. Even the leather and oil leather face sounds nasty. A lot of just random recipes that with early game stuff you might find in a house. Bushcraft sweet mead, 10% infection, jeez. So I made this soup. What does it give me for stats? 60 food, 30 health, and a lot of water. Pretty worth it for just a bunch of random hands I threw together in a pot. 
Last mod I'll showcase here is the A20 server side vehicles by a bunch of different modders here that add a ton of vehicles to the game for cosmetics. These are just some of my favorites that I saw within the catalog, but you can see the full list on the mod link that I'll have below. And it's just, they all really add some more flair to the vehicles. I really love these spikes. That's probably my favorite one, actually. Now you'll see when we test these out, they're not all as effective as they look like they would be, but they are very cool looking, especially if you want to like scare your friends or some shit. And the sled itself is the most unique least realistically speaking. Okay, so the motorcycle it kind of runs just like normal. It just has a gigantic fire at the front and some ammo cases on the back. And the spikes, as you can see, I wish they kind of pierced the zombies and had them stick. A little bit better, kind of just throws them off, but it's still very cool. These two were probably my favorite out of the whole bunch, testing them out, so I showcased those. That's pretty much what I got for you in today's mods video. I tried to keep it pretty quick and straight to the point. If you found any of these mods helpful, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It does help the channel. And let me know what mods you like, what mods you don't, and if you want to see different types of mod videos in the future. Thanks for watching.